Oh, it's the oh, fishing, fishing kids. kids. And we're in the house. We're gonna raise the roof. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. So today we're going to show you where the bass are. But you don't we don't just do bass. Okay. Uh if you, you can put a comment below on saying what fish you want to find for us to find and we'll fix, and then we'll do it in another video. So basically even reading, okay? Books and books and more books. Okay, so today JC right now is gonna tell you about uh, the do, do the winter and the um, winter and the uh, uh, winter and summer. Now I'll do the spring. Alright, um, mostly the spring and fall and summer. They're mostly in shallow parts like. Uh, like uh, 12 feet and lower so like, if you have like a dock that's 20 feet uh, 6 or 7 anything below that you're probably going to catch a bass and if you probably want to catch a bass you probably want to use a lure and uh, the worms are for catfish or perch or baby fish yeah so you can use lures so just uh, throw it out reel it in real really really slow so the bass can get it and for bass like in the winter they will be like in the deep waters but then once they will come up they will go like really really shallow but then once like fall comes they'll move back into the like like the shadow parts in the bay so that's probably a good place in the in the fall but like in the summer you can also do it in the shallow um okay so um in the fall and in the summer and the spring, they're going to be under the docks. So they're going to be Look like, here's the dock. Here's the dock. And so this oh is the dock. God. The fish are going to be down here. You're not in, but and in the uh, winter, they're going to be way down below, not even close to yeah, I mean, it's not So here's the dock. They're going to be like right there. So, yeah. And then I wanted to show you. Uh, I wanted to read something oh, to you. All right, JC's going to take it. Uh, see right here. That's the see, picture. You can see how how close they are in the spring, in the fall. But then way at the bottom on this one right here, that's the winter right near the trees. Where so is this it? is this is like this is like where they would be on the dock, and that's pretty much all that you need to do. If you, if you want to use a lure, do not use like a deep water for like a lake or something. You should use like a little shallow one and just, just cast it and then reel it in really, really slow. Don't and, I, I, and I bet you will catch a bass. It will take a while. You just need to have patience with fishing. Don't turn it off. Don't turn it off. Okay. So right now I'm looking on what I should do on the script. Okay. Right now. So let me see. He's fine, don't worry, we'll, we'll get you. We are still waiting. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. Okay. <laughs> okay, so live bait, uh, fishing for spotted bass. So, oh, did, was it yesterday we got a spotted bass? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yesterday we saw an over, uh, grown spotted bass. It was like, very big, okay? I think it's huge. I caught it, by the way. He, he just nothing, nothing to do with it. Nothing. Just nothing. <laughs> okay, so, live bait fishing for spotted bass. Anyway, so, if you have bass book, go to chapter 8C. That's where we are. Okay, as, um, what's the title? Here's the title. This is the title. Bass. It's a handbook for strategies, so yeah, you can read you'll, you'll find it somewhere. And it says right here, probably have fresh when books, the, okay? <laughs> when the water's uh, super cold and the sun's out, the fish are necessarily going to go near the docks and they'll feed, and that's the perfect time when they throw it. And if you're always going to go fishing, go during the spring, fall, summer, or any time like that. Just not really near the winter time. Um, well, you can, but just wait until they go feed. Yeah.
Okay, so best location during fall midday. Um, um, after trying a lot of different uh, fantastic and locations, Bobby decided to take a lesson from another guy. One of the local guides by the name of Jack Godfrey seemed to have a spotted bass figured out. He almost always brought in a limit for midday spots. Midday spots. Um, Bobby usually did pretty good fishing in the creek's mouth of um, the early morning, but when his fish went down, they just seemed to disappear. Um, so that's the picture of him catching the fish right there. And it says right here, it says that if a certain dog has appropriate food and water uh, de depth available for these fish, they will they may never go any farther than they may spend the entire summer there and winter. I think there's a. Do you understand? Okay. You'll catch so a bass if you this listen is, to us. Come on. Oh, this is what I wanted to share. So, can bass see color? A number of studies have indicated that fish in general, and bass in particular, can distinguish colors. In one experiment, bass were trained to respond to different shades of purple plastic worms. Researchers discovered that the fish could even deflect color variations that humans had trouble I'd identifying. Um, see, many see, older, remember, well, see, remember, I, don't remember, don't. You well, don't think that me. fish are dumb. They're they're actually probably well, probably smarter guys, than yeah, us. I'm what? telling you, they will know. Like if you catch it in a certain spot, don't go there because it will know. It's not it's not gonna go there. And if you listen to this, there yes, I can really tell color. So probably at night, I bet if you get um a really bright bright bobber that we have back at the lake, that, that you'll probably really really. You'll catch a fish with that, all right? So um, many anglers argue that the lure color makes a big difference in the fishing success. What uh, JC just said. Um, all of us have probably experienced time when one color outproduced another. This can be true. So it's important to have a few different colors in, of your favorite lure in your tackle box. Most of the time, however, color is not a crucial variable. The depth, speed, and action of the lure is more important. Okay, so the depth, speed, and action is way more important than the color. So, and then there's... Um, so yeah, that's really what I uh, wanted to share, but if you want, you might want to hear this. If you don't, then just skip to, we'll put the link to where you should skip to if you don't want to watch this part. So, of course, some diehards will continue the color debate as long as someone else will listen. So yeah, that's really all. So these are the perfect hideouts, and we'll do some more hideouts later, but for right now... Check us out later. Bye. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, check out our Facebook page. Yes. Yeah. Please. It's, yeah. Oh, and then comment, rate, and subscribe. Yeah. Ask subscribe. what. Ask where the hideouts you want to ask for, and what other fish you want to learn about. Bye.